Gentlemen, now, one of you I've met before and the other one has the brains. Which is which? I think you must be Jimmy. Uh, Charles, sir. A bit like Jimmy, but all the letters are different. Watch, you'll have to speak up. I've got AIDS in both ears. I said... You've got what? Christ's sake, Jimmy, what's a fellow have to do around here to get a bloody drink? Oh, no, Harry. Harry. We're in the uh, agency now. I'm deaf, Roddy, not stupid. I simply want to know if these blokes have the wherewithal to wet my tyrannous whistle. I'm sure we have. I was only just saying to Titface here, my partner, would be a jolly good idea to have some champagne. Champagne makes me fart like a horse. I'll drink beer. Absolutely. Alison? Oh, it doesn't uh, do that to me. <laughs> Sorry, I... Yes. I'd love some champagne if you're opening it. Thanks. Fetch some beer. Right. Harry, let's go up to my office. Charles has some uh, rather clever ideas he'd like to share with us. Who's Charles? He's Charles. Why did he tell me his name was Jimmy? Martin, you made this bed. Prepare to eat it. For three generations, country people have been taking it up the arse. Saving your presence, my dear. From ministry men who'd burst into tears if they were left alone in a field with a cow in it. Talk to the people who work the land. There's only the dimmest flicker of hope left in them. Our task, gentlemen, is to coax that flicker to a life-sustaining blaze. You fit for it? Have the best or go without, my father used to say. I'm told that you two are undoubtedly the best. Are you good enough for us? No. The question is, are you good enough for us? How much do you pay your estate carpenter? None of your damn business. It will be if you found this party. It will be everybody's business. Truth is, you don't even know yourself, do you? I suppose you're all fox hunters. Oh, no, hunting's a lost cause. No, it's a poison chalice from which no seriously ambitious party can afford to drink. I'm quite certain that it's television that would be my undoing. I'm not particularly immense at speaking on the wireless either, though, of course, one's done a bit of it. You know. I tend to put on altogether too much dog. Sound like Lord Emsworth. <laughs> Nerves. Television, though, I think I'd clam up. If Paxman got hold of me, I'd just sit there with a grin like a wanking chap. Well, certainly, uh, <clears throat> vocabulary is something we could work on. Uh, wireless, for instance, is not altogether current. Good. You see, Rodders, that's the stuff one needs to know.